My name is Sam Vaknin, and I'm the author of Malignant Self-Love, Narcissism Revisible. Today, we are going to discuss about sex, or more precisely, sexual perversions and deviance. Mm, yummy. Now, uh, there, there's only one problem with this topic. There is no such thing as perverse sexuality. <laughs> that makes the topic a bit difficult to discuss. Victorian middle-class values aside, if the sexual behavior harms no one, including oneself, and is consensual between consenting adults, then the sexual behavior is considered by psychologists and psychiatrists to be utterly both healthy and normal. I repeat, there is no such thing as sexual perversion. It's all a question of, are you harming someone? Are you harming yourself? And is it consensual? Did you agree in advance to the specific behavior? So homosexuality, bisexuality, BDSM, bondage, discipline, dominance, submission, sadomasochism, cross-dressing, water sports, also known as golden showers, role-playing and fantasy, and group sex or threesomes, all these things are nowhere to be found in any psychiatric uh, authoritative text. You cannot find them, for example, in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, edition 5, dated 2013. And you cannot find them in the next edition of the International Classification of Diseases, ICD-11. Next time someone tells you that your sexuality is perverse, tell them to go and get rid of their hang-ups and inhibitions. Tell them to seek the help of a good sex therapist. Ironically, taken to the extreme, such a judgmental, puritanical, and restrictive normative attitude towards sex is a sign of a mental health pathology, mental health problems. It is in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, and it is the hallmark of backward, primitive societies and arrested personality development or sick upbringing. The kind of upbringing, kind of house, or home, where you hear that sex is dirty, or some sex is dirty. Commonly, you have both. Both the wrong upbringing, and as a consequence, arrested personal development, immaturity. So, you would say, what about pedophilia? Do you justify it? Of course not. Pedophilia does not involve consensual sex between consenting adults. So, what about coprophagia? Using feces for sex play. Well, that happens to be medically very dangerous to, one's, to oneself and to others. It's also out of bounds and beyond the pale. It's also pathological. But these are, even these are not considered or called perversions. They are paraphilias. They are unusual sex practices. Perversion is a value judgment, societal, cultural, dependent on the period. Up until the beginning of the 20th century, masturbation was a perversion. And if this is the case, then we are all hopeless perverts. I wish you fun and joy and pleasure in unlimited quantities, in any way that turns you on. Go and be perverts is my unqualified advice.